Canada. So fertile, productive. Canada. All this land had been acquired by the Hudson's Bay Company. Canada. The only men were hunters, traders, missionaries, and the original inhabitants. Tribes of Indians hunted and fished in the wilderness around the Peace River. But when a railroad connecting with other parts of Canada was completed, the first settlers moved into the region. For the pioneer era, they came from all Europe, from the United States, from Eastern Canada. In 13 years, almost three million. Newcomers could obtain title to their land by working it for three years. 160 acres of virgin soil cost just $10. In just a few years, men, women, and children from many nations turned this land into one of the Earth's great granaries. As long as the world needs more of our grain, new farmlands will be carved out of the wilderness. There are still thousands of undeveloped acres. The land that they are changing will become their own. Many are taking advantage of the generous offers which our government makes to those who will establish homesteads in our wilderness. Yes, this is the land of release from the commonplace, from the boredom of routine things. Canada, the land of escape. Pioneers on a new frontier have no desire to spend a long and cold winter in the tent that has been their home. On the frontier, the men do their own carpentry and plumbing, and the women become their hard-working assistants.
reserve land is held in right of Canada. It's not um, allowed to be held by First Nations. I live on reserve, but I have a lease for our house, um, but it's not in my name because it can't be, because I have status. It's, it stems from the Indian Act. It's one of the original Indian Act clauses. Indian Act was written in 1876, and it still governs us. When we went to buy the house, and we've been in there 22 years now, when we bought the house, they gave me a piece of paper and they said, just sign this and we can do the transaction. And I said, what is this? And they said, well, you have to give up your rights as a First Nations person, give up your status in order to purchase a house. And I just pushed the paper back. I said, I'm not doing that. They said, well, you can't buy it then. And that's when we had to go through that whole song and dance um, about having to form a, a company because the company is recognized by the government uh, as an entity that can own things, uh, whereas we are not. It's bizarre. De façon générale, ce n'est pas populaire. Il y a évidemment des préjugés. Le danger, évidemment, de, nous, de notre système, c'est qu'on fait des concentrations de personnes n'est pour nous, des concentrations de problèmes. We were through paying money to landlords. We were going to build our own home. Easier said than done. The profession of mortgage banking. Mortgage banker is a specialist who obtains loans, large and small, for people in his own area, from any number of local and national institutions. Now through the months and years, your interest payments become less and less, while the part on principal becomes more and more. Now I understand it. or insurance companies he represents. And the ripples of prosperity, like those from a pebble dropped in the water, reach out farther and farther. So Canada steps up and takes care of its own in my culture and a lot of our Indigenous cultures across Turtle Island. We ensure that nobody is left behind on my reserve, my stepdad and my brother and their relatives hunt and fish and provide wood for over 60 families that have disabilities or elderly or are unable to do that for themselves for some reason. And that is the type of community and that I want, or nation that I want to be a part of. And this is why Indigenous people say that we are sovereign people from sovereign nations because 
We don't want to be a part of a country like Canada that leaves so many tens of thousands of people behind. And so as long as Canada, the province and territories and municipalities continue to ignore their citizens, I will continue to hold them up just like I will any of my cousins, my brothers or my sisters.